Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to make a delicious and light vanilla custard made from scratch. I recently learned how to make this recipe and it is definitely the perfect dessert to bring to a summer get together. Let's get started. The ingredients that you will need are granulated sugar, cornstarch, kosher salt, six room temperature egg yolks, whole milk, one orange, unsalted butter, vanilla extract, and fresh berries for garnish at the end. First, grab a large mixing bowl and measure out one and a quarter cup of sugar, one quarter cup of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of the kosher salt. Whisk these ingredients together until the cornstarch is blended nicely into the sugar. Next, crack your six eggs, making sure to separate the egg yolks from the whites. We will only be using the six egg yolks for this recipe. I did save my egg whites for scrambled eggs for breakfast the next morning, so don't throw those out. Once the yolks are separated, whip them into the dry mixture. This will become a little tough to do, but just make sure that they are all incorporated. Then measure out three and a half cups of whole milk and set it onto the stove in a large pot to simmer over low to medium heat. At this point, you can take your orange and wash it off and then zest half of it into the milk before it starts to heat up and mix that together. Once you see the milk has started to simmer, take a ladle and spoon a little bit of it into the egg mixture while making sure to whisk it at the same time. This step is to make sure that the egg mixture can heat up just enough so that the custard does not curdle. You want the egg mixture to become warm but not hot. If it is too hot, the end result can turn out a bit like scrambled eggs, which we do not want. That is why it is important to just add a little bit at a time and keep making sure to whisk while you're adding it. This can be done a little easier with two people if you have the extra hands. Have somebody just constantly whisk while the other person ladles it into the bowl. Once the eggs are warm enough, add them back onto the stovetop with the remaining milk. At this point, you will turn the heat up to medium and stir at a constant rate until the custard becomes thick. This can take around five minutes or so, so don't give up. It'll be worth it in the end. When the custard seems to be at a thick, pudding-like consistency. You can take four ounces or one stick of unsalted butter and add it to the pot along with one tablespoon of vanilla extract. This next step is optional, but if you would like a citrus flavor added to the custard, cut the orange in half and juice half of it right into the custard before it goes to cool off in the fridge. After the butter has melted and the vanilla is all mixed in, get out a medium sized sheet pan and pour the custard onto the pan. This is so that it can cool at an even temperature all throughout. Make sure it's an even flat layer and then lay some parchment or wax paper to the top of it to prevent a coating that could form in the fridge. I did leave mine in the refrigerator for about two hours. You can do a little less time if needed or more time depending what you need. Once it is cooled, remove the sheet pan from the fridge and take off the parchment paper. The custard is then cooled and ready to eat. You can enjoy it just as it is or add the fresh berries for a nicer presentation and as a refreshing treat. I will definitely be making this dessert more often and hope you do the same. You can even add some whipped cream to the top if you would like. Let me know in the comments if you try it and how this recipe turned out for you. Thank you so much for watching.